What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and you get a two for today. So Zoss just dropped the most recent patch notes on the PTS and just so you guys know, they are listening very, very hard to your feedback. I don't want to say that this is bad for the game, but I think Zoss is having a lot of knee jerk reactions and they really need to consider what they are nerfing and you know how are they nerfing it, whether it's too much, not enough. They, they need to do a little bit of internal play testing. So this is going to be the PTS patch notes 9.0. 0.1 now let's talk about a few things here first of all um mars bomb is mentioned in these patch notes and they have nerfed this like four times already and it's just it's clear they don't know what they're doing and then they they, they completely over nerfed it so we'll talk about a few things here so um, a lot of these changes improvements uh, i was actually going to post a templar desync video and apparently if, uh, and maybe someone brought this to their attention, but there is a way to desync your gap closers with misform to where on the client side, uh, your point, your point of view, you're doing all the attacks, but whoever's looking at you, it looks like you're standing still and, and uh, completely, completely like stuck in place. This is what this is for. So Dragon Leap and misform can, um, can cause desyncs when using tandem. So this right here. This also works for toppling charge on the Templar. I'm sure there's other gap closures. This is also going to work with. Uh, I'm not sure if this is still present. I will go back and do some testing, but um, there was a bug in the game in which allowed you to, to pretty much one shot anyone uh, because of these things, you know, kind of like the, the old um, focus aim spam used to be. So um, it's good that that's been addressed and uh, just some minor tweaks to the Arcanus so far. Necromancer Blast Bones effects are being summoned from a new but incorrect position that before a restoration of blessing protection can result in client crashes so th these are known bugs they're working on so this one right here is going to be a big one um in pvp this will completely break it uh, that's why i haven't done the video yet uh, maybe i'm not even going to do it now since they're aware of it so uh, uh, we'll go on so we're not going to go over all of the class changes uh, especially with the arcanist most of this is just like tooltip related and little minor bug fixes but what we want to focus on are the PvP source ones. So let's kind of take a look at Mars, for example. So Mars did get nerfed for the fourth or fifth time. I Maybe they will stick with it this time, but I want to show you guys a workaround with Mars Bomb. We'll come back to Scavenging Demise in a minute. Uh, this this one was just because they hate your boy Horcrux anyway. Uh, so Mars Bomb, increase the cooldown of the set cleanse to 30 seconds up from 15. This is a complete overkill to the, to the set. Uh, little does Zoss know that there is a champion point that cleanses you every 24 seconds or whatever and you can and it procs at any health threshold so probably they'll go and fix this after watching this video or whoever brings it to their attention so um that one champion point takes the place of five piece mars essentially so of course their spoiler you know we're increasing the cooldown here in hopes that it's set no longer such a hard counter to damage or time focused builds where it can still ease the pressure and help to blah 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 the 30 seconds is kind of makes this not that usable you might as well use saps of the hiss now i would imagine they will do one more alteration to this what they're going to do they're going to leave this at 30 seconds but they'll probably increase the heal by about 25 percent um i think that would be um, kind of fair so let's go back to scavenging my eyes bro i this is why i hesitate making these videos for you guys and this is why i keep most of this information to myself and within you know tight you know niches in the uh, the community so scavenging demise fix an issue where the set could trigger without uh, when applying poisons that deal zero damage so um, i've known about this for a little while and this took a long time to really prove out and you know and make it work correctly i mean it kind of sucks like putting all this work into making eso quote unquote fun again or to just be completely negated and taken away. I mean, it is what it is. This was a, a, a like a very niche, but it is very applicable set. You know, for example, for the Stam Sork or on the Dragonite, you have undodged one blockable CC. So now you have to proc it the old fashioned way, right? So this was a neat little bug, but it goes to show you that um, they are listening to your feedback. And it is important to note that you have constructive, not this let's jump on the bandwagon everyone talk about it just to get nerfed and this th this is kind of scary because the devs obviously don't know what's going on in pvp right so i mean th these are all pvp source you know whatever and for them to have these knee-jerk reactions and just listen to the vocal minority of people on the forums is not necessarily good i'm glad they're listening but they need to filter out exactly what they are doing 
And this is where Zenimax needs to have a clear direction in mind on the direction that they want to take the game. If they want to continue having these knee jerk reactions and just nerfing what everyone's crying about, that is not good dev behavior. Like the devs know what's good for the game. They know what's needed in the game. The players can just voice you what they want, not necessarily what the game needs. So this is definitely a step backward from Zoss, definitely a minus one. And going forward on the channel, all the bugs and exploits. Uh, also, you remember that bug jewelry, everyone, you know, accused everyone of cheating and exploiting and should be banned for it. Guess what? There's a way to make that jewelry still work. Am I going to cover that? No. Nope, I'm keeping it to myself and a very few type members of the, of the community don't even bother reaching out about it. Maybe once the PTS cycle is done, I will show you guys how to unbug the jewelry to where you can get those benefits again. You know, this is from the, the name, named item from Saps of the Hiss, flanking strategist, Sithis. There is a way around it and it's not that hard. And you're not using any third party software or anything like that. It's just literally playing the game. It's, it's a bug. It's not an exploit. So what's the takeaway from this video, guys? What, what am I trying to say? So um, it's good that the patch notes are here. Um, these are, I won't say needed changes, but it is good that they are listening to community feedback. It's just the problem is that too many people are crying on the forums about the wrong things. And then this just kind of gives Zoss a way to be like, hey, yeah, we're fixing all this stuff that you want us to fix. Ah, this, not really. You're not really fixing the, the, the core problem of the game. You know, obviously the server performance is getting worse and worse and worse. And especially when the new Arcanist class comes out or Arcanist, whatever comes out, there is a lot of channeled abilities and a lot of skill shot abilities that are just simply not going to register. And the class is going to be a flop unless they really address the infrastructure and the fundamentals of the game. And this is just kind of like a veil that they toss you guys like, hey, yeah, we're listening, we're doing our job, get off our backs. So like, I, I see where they're coming from. But for real, guys, like ner nerfing Mars bomb for like the fourth time, like, come on, bro. Like it is going to be nice to run a different set, but uh, I expect that they will make another change a fifth time before the PTS cycle drops. Keep in mind, guys, we all play the Elder Scrolls online to have fun. It's not an eSport. It's not a competitive game. You're not going to have any sort of monetary value from the Elder Scrolls online. This is a form of escapism, and it's very, very important to have fun. If you guys want my definition of fun, it should be up on your screen right now. And hopefully the devs watching this will take a look at this hastily tossed together you know, cause and effect chart and maybe, you know, kind of go down this path when it comes to making ESO fun again. The most fun I think you can have in the Elder Scrolls Online is in PvP and it's actually killing other players. So when you start nerfing sets like Scavenging Demise to make it more difficult to kill player in already a very stalemate tank meta, it just, just makes the game feel very lackluster and that's not the direction I would like to see the Elder Scrolls Online continue to go. Anyway, and that's pretty much a patch. No rest out or just questing things and visual bugs and tooltip bugs. So if you like this video, or you like this shorter content from Royal Horcrux, you know, kind of covering some, you know, just news here and there, kind of giving my thoughts on the patch notes and where things need to go and yada yada, whatever. Uh, just uh, like and sub, comment, let me know. But uh, I'm going to be peacing out. And before I go, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and community members. You guys are phenomenal. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.